Grand Rising, my friends. Hey there, looking at you, the most beautiful subscribers in these here several galaxies close by to our own. Moving out over to quadrants of space now. We are soon to be the prettiest people there are ever known to be. Not that that's important. You want to also be thoughtful and kind and compassionate and um, understanding individuals who are uh, grateful. Going way off on tangents. If you're new here, I do that a lot. Join us. This is not financial advice. Smack the microphone. Apologize. This is not relationship advice, medical advice. This is not advice about uh, uh, cleaning keyboards or anything as such. This is for your own entertainment to watch and learn. This is not advice about how to live your life, make decisions. Do as is you may. Bunch of disclaimers. Looking at the market, market is doing fantastic. Soon to break three trillion. They're already calling it uh, a lot of the. Um, unless there's some uh, other market that is not showing up on Coin Market Cap or Coin, or Coin Gecko, we have not broken the three trillion dollar market cap accordingly yet. But getting closer in the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin at sixty-seven thousand. It's probably a new high for Bitcoin. Sixty-seven thousand four hundred sixty-six. Ethereum at 4796 Binance has been just blazing this week at $653.43. Solana, fourth coin now, at $249.63, a market cap of $75 billion, 75.5. Cardano at $2.12. It's probably going to go on the run soon, especially as I, as I said yesterday, probably with the smart contracts. Soon to come up, XRP at $1.27, Polkadot at $52.76, Dogecoin at $0.28, cents. Shiba Inu at four zeros five seven two. Terra at $53.89, Avalanche at $90.4. Boy, these Avalanche are going to be above 100 soon. And we're going to do something with Avalanche in, a, in a, another video that will be up before this, but filmed after. I know, that's right. Anyway. So I'm not going to stay here with the crypto all day. Stock market today has been in the green. You can see everything's in the green. Just barely for the NASDAQ and S&P. What were the winners today? Uh, not much, too much moving. Intel up a little bit. Mark up some. Tesla was down by almost 5%. It was down a lot today. Now, I don't know if that was because of what Elon, I'm not even going to go into the whole Elon tweeting about should he sell stock or not, what people are saying. They switch Facebook to Meta platforms that quick? Great. Googly. <laughs> uh, you got to love it. You got to love it. So Ethereum continues to burn. We love looking at this. It's almost, I don't know, it almost feels kind of, um, what's the word I want to say? Not sociopathic but almost in a sense um voyeuristic in a way that we come to look at the ETH almost close to three million dollars in total amount but eight hundred and ten thousand Ethereum. This is gonna cause a such a price in the future. Hear about the positivity, positivity being of someone in your life that's important to you, anyone that tugs at your heartstrings. Write something nice about them down in the comment section. Forward them this video and say, hey, look what I wrote about you on the internet. With that, could she be Inu hit a dollar? Elon said, I, this is an old article. Where it just Like I said, things got, where it is, what it is. Expect to hit a dollar 20 by the end of August. There are, there was, there are now probably, and that's what's been a big argument in the, um, community how much sheep is in a circulating supply they said it was like 399 when in reality is like probably 549 so whatever it may be if each of them were worth a dollar that would be 549 trillion dollars sheep is not getting to a dollar 
even one penny seems to be pie in the sky because then you just take zeros off of that. So just work your way backwards. You're going to down to about five, five trillion sheep. So that's what you're getting for. You, if you five trillion to get you over to a penny a, a sheep, <laughs> the market cap for sheep alone itself. The market cap for crypto now is at three million. I'm, th I'm sorry, close to three trillion. Very close to three trillion. The market cap for sheep currently is. So yeah, so it's, you know you gotta you gotta just bounce this. By, oh no, it'll go up to five and then bounce it. See right here, five forty nine trillion, and right now the market cap is at thirty one billion. This would have to be the market cap have to, to go to a dollar. Have to you know it's one to one. It's not. You don't have to go past it and overthink it. So Elon is just, just, you know, getting people sick of asking stupid questions he can care less about. This is a man who's trying to electrify the entire fleet of vehicles and airplanes and boats and everything else you can imagine, probably, as well as designing and implementing transportation to our sister planet Mars. So... Just, yeah, it's gonna be whatever y'all want it to be—a billion dollars. Each sheets we worth, each sheets we worth a planet. Is that what you want to hear? Stop asking me. That's what I would imagine it is. So, no, relax, chill. You know, as long as it go up, it's, it's been doubling, tripling ten times. Just be happy with that. Everybody gets super greedy and, and, and thoughts consumed with stupidity at times. You know, be happy, be smart, be 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 mindful, be patient. The things we were saying instead of just being beautiful that we are, the things that subscribers of this individual get down with. New study, Bitcoin mining consumes only 0.38% of the world's wasted energy. Not just energy. Energy is 0.12% of the, of the, compared to worldwide energy consumption. But the Bitcoin mining at 188 terawatts per hour accounts for only 0.38% of the global 50,000 terawatts per hour energy that goes to waste due to inefficiencies. So in other words, big, it's a straw man argument about the effects of Bitcoin on or the Bitcoin mining or the Bitcoin network on the environment because it's any computer we have, the effect on it is magnified. Especially if you add in the other flip side of the coin of hardware, which, you know, Bitcoin has as well as it both. So it's not, it's, you know, we have to produce a better system, but that's for all of us. So. Just the backlash is, is it tears to be a bit straw man at points. Um, a lot of individuals see that it's cheaper and easier to go to more green mining for Bitcoin over time, especially with, you know, just the way the world is, is going. You can't just burn coal for cheap now. It's, it's more and more difficult to obtain and more expensive. Difficult, you will be seen, you know, noticed, investigated. So you have to kind of go green. Iran officials, United States officials, Iran behind drone attack on U.S. base in Syria. This is a couple of weeks ago. U.S. officials say they believe Iran was behind the drone attack last week at the military outpost in southern Syria where American troops are based. Did you know American troops are still based in Syria? Officials say that the U.S. believe that Iran resourced and encouraged the attack, but that the drones were not launched from Iran. They were Iranian drones, and Iran appear to have facilitated their use, officials said, speaking on conditions of anonymity, to discuss details that have not been made public. Officials say they believe the attacks involved as many as five drones laden with explosive charges and that they hit both the U.S. side of, I'm going to butcher this, though. I butcher a lot of things, a lot of words and concepts and thoughts. Always go learn for yourself. I mean, you know. We got to be careful with that nowadays because a lot of people will listen a lot to that. People go and learn for themselves sometimes. Know your limitations and what you're going to learn. Know, know what you like. Okay, I need to listen to somebody who, who, who kind of understand this a little bit better than me. And, and be humble about that. It's not a bad thing. 
uh, hit the U.S. side of Al Tanif Gar Al Tanif Tanif Garris and the side where Syrian opposition forces say so drones allegedly not allegedly I mean hey look everything's alleged allegedly came in and the United States knew that this was coming got away from it and then when they when they came back and did it after the attack assessment they saw that where the drones had detonated it would have put shrapnel where they would have been so now you know when i was first seeing this a couple weeks back i was like is there and it always we seem to be setting up the stage to do things too and i think i mentioned this probably even yesterday talking about the iranian the attacks on iranian gas stations is that now, you know, is Iran doing these things to set themselves up to take these blows from us? Or are we just always kind of, um, you know, accidentally, oh, bump, oh, you bumped into me, blah, you know, swinging on them. So expect to hear some things happening to Iran in the near future where there's going to be some retaliation. The Iran attack was in response to the U.S. drone strike earlier in the month near the Baghdad airport. They, they talking about this last attack that was over, you know, a year ago. Back, you remember that when they were talking about, oh, Iran and the United States were going to World War III. Remember the means from that to beginning in 2023? We would love to go back to that. You remember how the means ended in 2000? I'm sorry. Did I say 23? 2020. How 2020 began with the means after we had killed the United States had uh, killed the Iranian general Soleimani uh, and also this Iraqi uh, militia leader at the Baghdad airport. And they were like, oh, you're going to Iran. I, at first I was like, do y- y'all have no clue uh, how we would dust. It wouldn't even it wouldn't even be comparable to like a protein plan against uh, uh uh, an elementary school team in football here in America in terms of the United States military versus Iran. That would not happen. So then we saw how that, how that turned out for us. <laughs> All those memes and jokes that year. But now enemy who wouldn't be so quick. Well, I mean, look, they get touched up quick too. I'm not even going to front. They, sorry, it is what it is. But And there's another story we'll talk to in a couple of days that has something kind of else to deal with this as well. Now China launches possible satellite crushing weapon as President Xi calls on military to break new ground in arm development following arms development following hypersonic nuke tests. China launched the Xijing, Xijing, maybe, but I'm always butchering things. 21 satellite into space Sunday aboard the Long March rocket. Beijing say satellite will test technology aimed at neutralizing space debris. So allegedly China... I read about this several months back. They were going to put the satellite in orbit to use lasers to kind of like either push, start pushing stuff off out of orbit into space. That was kind of the one of the plans. I'm not sure exactly that was their technology. I know it was someone was was going to launch a satellite. I'm not sure if it was us or China now with this one, but the lasers pushing stuff. There's different ways people are thinking about going about how to neutralize space debris and get rid of the problem. Washington warns the same technology can be used to take out other satellites. At a separate military conference after the launch, Xi, Xi Jinping called on scientists to break new ground in developing weapon technology. Now, the story that we're going to also address in a couple of days is that, yeah, well, you know, we of course we're watching this. And it's something like the title of something like United States Space Force is tracking an identified object along with this satellite. So it's something that's tracking along with it that we didn't know was supposed to be up there or something. I don't know. We'll see what's up. Interesting. I believe, I don't know if I if I mentioned or if I was going to supposed to say that the sub that hit something in South China Sea, supposedly it was a sea mount. So imagine the surface of the ocean has these bumps and they hit one of those like a sea mountain, a bump. And they, they fired like the top three commanders uh, involved with the sub. So... You know, supposedly it was an unmapped sea mount, so it may have been something else that happened. Who knows? But that was the the word that came out from the United States government in regard to that that story that we talked about previously. Uh, so anyway, they 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 launched this missile. We're saying that they 
are um, going to use this to be able to attack our United States by our satellites. And if you say, I live in this country and if bombs start raining on this, ain't no discrimination against me either. I know all about the discrimination in this month. And it'd be weird to have the no discrimination. So <laughs> they could be like, oh, wait. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, no, nah, you know. No, nah, they, 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 would, they wouldn't mind seeing me get wiped out in this mug as well. So, and that would be very difficult. If anybody who knows me know what time it is. So anyway, Jing, who has seen a major overhaul of Chinese military since taking power in 2012, held progress made over the last five years, saying new technology has been essential to enhancing the country's military might. Now, this seems a little bit crazy. I didn't know that somebody was saying this, and I don't know how real it is. They may not understand. When they talked about the hypersonic missile, which we discussed already, said that they uh, tested the weapon twice. Those charged with assessing the new weapons are still struggling to work out exactly what it's capable of. I guess we'll say but but say it appears to defy the laws of physics and goes beyond anything the U.S. has developed. I don't know who that statement is attributable to. It's someone with the necessary knowledge and understanding of what we're capable of. Said that so great googly moogly. So it is what it is. And they talked about it. I like the name of it, a fractional orbital bombardment system. You know what I mean? The fobs. Hit you with that fob. Blah, blah. Boom. With that flob. Fractional orbital bombardment system. I'm, I like weird stuff like this. And I guess that's why I bring it up and talk about it. So uh, They already launched one debris clearance satellite before the Xijin 17 in 2016. This is China that was designated a communication satellite but had a robotic arm. And they believe that the new one is just a military craft capable of bringing down uh, orbiting and craft. So we'll see what Space Command have to say. We'll keep a close eye on this. I'm not going to keep you long. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.